Go down there and grab it. And don't lift it off, just let me see it. Okay, now lift it up to that one inch position, that launch position, keep coming, keep coming. Feel that position right there. Okay, go ahead and take it back down to one inch above the knees. Now push the knees back and out a little bit if you can. There you go. Okay, now take it all the way up to the hang, all the way up. Keep coming, all the way. There, now just go ahead and snatch it from this position without going forward. You're just gonna do the straight down and up. Let's go ahead and snatch it. Okay, do it again. And remember to keep that bar close to your body. Don't let it fly out. So your legs are going to go straight down and up, and then you shrug your body down. That's excellent. Do it again. And continue pulling as you're going down. Don't jump it up and then pull. Once you, once you drive, those shoulders come up, the arms continue to follow. Right away, there's no hesitation. You let that get away from you. One more time. Keep it close to the body. That's it. Excellent. Go ahead and put it down. Okay, so when you miss the weight, where do you normally miss it? Or Yeah. Yeah, I can, yeah, so it's coming away from you. One of the things that I, that I would say, just based on that, is that fact that the bar is coming out a little bit. So the reminder of keeping the bar real close to your body. The other thing is, is that based on your liftoff, you've got to make sure that your knees get out of the way. Remember to properly load the hamstrings. So for right now, you're going to bring the knees up and get them out of the way. And then I want that to come up a little bit higher, maybe two or three inches above the knees and pause right there and let me see it. Hold. Okay, now see your, knee, your, your shins are not bad here, but I'd like to have them back a little, right there. Now come up, you feel that in your hamstrings? No shit, see? That looks really good. Now, right here, I want you to go ahead and snatch it, but listen to me. I want you to pull yourself right under the bar. Keep the bar close. Go. Say, say, say. And stand. Now do another one from the high hang. Keep pulling as you're going down. Keep it close. Beautiful. Beautiful. One more from that position. Feel that pull under. Excellent. Excellent job. I was unfair to you on the one from this position because I held you there for a long time and you're really firing, but you felt that hamstring come into play? That's what I gotta have. I gotta have more of the knees getting out of the way and let that bar, a little low and I stop you, let it come up a little bit more into this position. I'm gonna hold you just momentarily and I want you to do that same pull again, but think about that finish and continuing to pull. And what I'm seeing with him, I think one of the reasons the bar is getting away from him is because, A, that he's not loading his hamstrings enough, so he's not getting that real, you know, stretch reflex that we're wanting. And so consequently, the hips, instead of coming up, the hips are going out a little bit, so he's going to end up swinging the bar a little bit more. So I really want to work on this position, A. Then the second thing that we're going to do is work on the, the uh, keeping the bar extremely close to the body as he's going under. The last rep that I, that I saw, he really fired up really good, but then he hesitated pulling himself down just momentarily. So the cue of continue pulling your body down as you're going under is really a critical point for fast hands. And when we had him warm up, remember we had him do the, uh, the snatch drops for fast hand and staying tight in the bottom position. Hopefully that warm up will engage his thought process for extremely fast hands, extremely fast body underneath the bar. Okay. okay. Tight. And come on up slow. Knees back, knees back, knees back. Knees back. Feel that? All right, now, now quick, go. Stay up. That's all right, not fast enough, that's okay. Right from this position right here. And go, hard. That's it, stand, bar on back, fast hands, fast hands. Drive down. Atta boy. And one more, same thing. Drive down, faster, fast hands. That's it, stand and drop the bar. Good. You feel the hamstring, don't you? I can, I can, I can really tell that you can feel that loading of the hamstring and that's what, that's what you gotta do. You gotta get that bar back you got to feel that hamstring and you really want to engage that stretch reflex. In real life, I'm having you actually stop there and you're feeling the bar on your body. 
when you're really snatching, you don't feel the bar there. The bar's actually a little bit away from you. So it's even more critical for you to stay back into that area because if the bar's away from me, the contact we want to be high on the thigh. We don't want it to be down low because you're gonna end up being pulled forward with that. So you want, as you're lifting that weight up here, and I'm pausing you, you understand that I'm having you rest there so you can feel that hamstrings and so you're gonna feel the bar on your body. But when you're really snatching, the bar is just a little bit away from your body and as you come up, the contact will be made higher.